Hi everybody, it's Andrew here again for GamerGuys.com and welcome to the latest in our Brave the Default Strategy Guide Boss Series videos. In this particular video we're taking a look at Ouroboros in his third phase. Now this guy's got 200,000 HP this time, however as previously you don't actually need to get rid of all of that to, to finish the battle. What will happen is the battle will end after he uses Armageddon for the third time. However, the battle is going to start getting tough and basically he can use Celestial Touch to increase the physical magic attack so it's very important to use the White Mage and cast a spell as soon as possible to remove this effect or the damage will add up over time. When he gets to be around about 130,000 HP he will use Armageddon on his next available turn and what that basically means is if you drop his HP below 130,000 and he hasn't acted on that turn yet he won't use Armageddon and that does massive magic damage to your party and not only that it fully heals the boss as well so it's really really irritating so you're going to want to make sure you default around this mark so your party doesn't get floored if you have any characters with low HP don't bother healing them as your healer probably won't survive Armageddon unless they default however if your healer is damaged you can have another character heal them back in the video you can see us well, consistently defaulting at the right time to whether the Armageddon attacks. It just helps to have examined so you know what Ouroboros' HP left is. You can kind of you know, prepare for it properly. Afterwards, you only want to quickly patch up your party and continue on with the attacks. Now, the second and third time you drop him below the 130,000 HP mark, he will use Armageddon again, so brief yourself. After the third one, the battle will end, but you will still take damage, so you're going to have to keep defaulting as far as that's concerned. Don't forget if you've got any summons or any ab links then you can use them but however if you don't have many summons or ab links left it might be best to save them for the fourth and final phase. We hope this particular video has been of some help to yourself. If you find it has been of some help then you may find that the complete guide to Blade the Default available on GamerGuys.com is to be even more helpful again where we cover the entire game from start to finish and everything you could possibly ever want to know about the game is going to be in there for you. Any feedback on the guide itself is greatly appreciated on GamerGuys.com forum, Twitter, Facebook or of course on our YouTube comments page where we love you to subscribe and give us all your input. We read as much of it as we can. Thank you very much once again for watching this video. It's appreciated and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care and bye bye.
Thank <laughs> you. 